not sure how I'm gonna render all this and put this uh, this clip together because I know I didn't film that much, but I had a great time at the beach. Went to um, Wrightsville Beach, Carolina Beach. GPS led me to some crazy place. The guy had these slips already printed up. Um, but it was pretty good. Got some great photos. I'll put that in on the uh, the video. Uh, I have an appointment Monday for the car again to take it in. Um, the the trunk lifts. I don't know with that big spoiler. It does. It, look at my cat. What are you doing? Why are you eating that? Oh, man. Anyway, um, the holds the trunk up. I don't know what's going on. If it's just um, weak. Um, shocks or something but i'm gonna have them change that and also the, the driver's seat is that supposed to go up and down it's like the under my legs goes up and down a little bit but the the whole seat doesn't go up and down i, I don't know if there's something wrong with it or what so i'm gonna have them take a look at that i might just check the one in the showroom and see but uh man i must have killed every bug every little gnat from the beach to here because i the whole front bumper was covered with bugs i um I sprayed and got that off, um, which means I'm gonna have, probably have a bunch of spots on the car. But anyway, whatever, no big deal. Gonna head out for lunch. Let's do a remote start. And uh, just listen. Sometimes I don't. Think... There he goes. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, one other thing is I was looking at these MFR ones. Hold those baffles open. I thought about getting a set of those. They're on sale, um, so I think I'll get some of those. Um, that's about if you guys have those put on your car let me know if you like them I haven't done anything to the exhaust I plan on leaving the exhaust the same but I do want to kind of leave those baffles open but I don't know do I need to because I put it in sport mode or track mode and it seems like they open up anyway so alright you want to say anything <laughs> alright see you later guys welcome back to my channel I just noticed the lens looks crooked on my GoPro here um, so listen I'm uh here we go with the louvers again. Um, so, no, they're staying on. The issue is... What is that? See how they're rattling? I'm going to find out where it is. I, I'm going to be putting some uh, foam on there to stop the rattling. I think it's this piece right here. It's not that loud. I'll put the radio on. I can't hear it, but... Let me check the other side. Take a look. It's got one on there. I'm still trying to come up with a good idea for graphics on this thing. I originally wanted rally stripes. Oh, the sun came out. Yeah, I think that's what it is right there. I don't think it's rattling on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it's right there on the top. I'm going to put a piece of foam right in there but anyway uh what do you guys think i should do for graphics let me know type in on the uh comments field below what i should do should i get the strobe on the bottom should i get the hockey hockey stress just everybody's got that you know i also thought about getting some 392 on the uh on the hood there right, in, right up here a sticker up there um I had fender hashes before. They look pretty good on my red car. I don't know. The rallies look nice, though, you know. And I also thought about putting something in with some more red. I like the way that red on the Sky One shows shows up. Although my brake calipers are black, I think I need some red in here. Even if it's a red pinstripe. What do you guys think? All right, get back. I'm gonna see what happens here when I put this on and then take it for a quick spin. See you in a minute. Alright, so I looked here. I already had some foam here. But this lip, I don't know if you can see it, this lip is higher than this foam is. So I'm going to build that up for another layer on there. And that should take care of it. Oh, by the way, um, on those little studs, there's washers. The washers actually go between the mount and this uh, louver. They don't go like you would think on the outside. I don't know why, but I I definitely need some lock washers on there too. So you might get some. See you in a minute. Alright, so uh I built up some more 
foam right there. My supervisor says I did a good job. Uh, put some down here on the bottom. Because you see there's a lip right there. I don't know if you can see that. So I had to build up two levels of the foam. Right in here. I noticed I put a little on each side of this, but not enough, I don't think. But that'll hold it down tight anyway, so. Anyway, let's put it on, see how it works. All right, I got the louvers on. It looks fine there, but here, I forgot about these corners here. So I'm gonna take them back off. I think I'm gonna do this corner and down here on both sides. All right, so we got the uh, louvers back on, ready to test them. <laughs> that means that means remote start, <laughs> highway run. Gosh, that's loud. That's stock exhaust, buddy. I might get those valves that uh, those plates that hold the valves open to just keep the stock exhaust. Um. Yeah, let's take it for a spin, see if it rattles. Alright, so far no rattling, but I'm only going like 25 miles an hour. So in our neighborhood here, um, you know, speed limit's 25, and some people come flying through here about 45, 50. I don't know who these uh, people are that do that, but um, I don't know, this kid's out here and everything, he's real dangerous. You know, I'm not telling you what to do, but... <clears throat> If you hit a kid, your insurance is not going to cover it all. That means they're going to own you for the rest of your life. So think about that. But I got nothing about I'm not here to say, you know, you shouldn't go fast. I like going fast, but not in neighborhoods. So if you're in a residential neighborhood, um, I think you should kind of chill a little bit. You don't poop where you live, you know what I mean? Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get out of the highway. Which is probably not a whole lot better, but not better than speed down a neighborhood. Alright, later. I just noticed I don't have my wallet with me. That means no driver's license on me. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so far so good. No rattle. Nice and quiet. Guess I uh, I hit the spot there. All right, well, it's about as fast as I go. You gotta build up that um, that um, window weather stripping. Sorry, I'm a little distracted here. Gosh, before I got to the highway, I didn't film it, but a guy in a van coming the other way, texting, drove right across the uh, the median and almost in, hit the car coming the other way. So a little. PTSD. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, so. Great day for driving. Heading down to the beach. I got all my camera gear. Drones. Nikon. GoPro. Stick around. Wanted to show you guys, in case you cared, at uh, 80 miles per hour, I was going on flat surface. I was at 20. I reset everything, but then I went up a hill. Um, I was getting about 20, 21 miles per gallon. I noticed that that's on uh, asphalt. When I'm on the cement with the grooves, I can get up 21 and a half, almost 22. So I definitely get better gas mileage on uh, cement than I do on the asphalt. So the numbers are climbing up. Let me reset again. level right here yeah so there's 20 and 21 that's pretty good When I first got the car with those uh, runners, they must have been stuck or something because I was only getting, uh, gosh, 17, 16 on the highway. It was terrible. 
anyway um, I have to look back at that old video where I bought the car but I know it wasn't as good as after I got it back from the service center and I know he flashed it too so he did a software update on it so if you guys have a wide body here getting kind of crappy gas mileage you might want to have to do a software update anyway great day I'm about an hour away from uh, Wrightsville Beach I think I'm gonna go to Wrightsville Beach I wasn't sure if I was gonna go to that or Carolina Beach but I'm gonna go to Wrightsville Beach North Carolina so see you in a little bit oh just realized you can probably find it Yeah, 20.2. I don't know if you can see it. I got this thing around my neck, so I can't move it right now. I can't get it closer to the screen, but 20.2 at 80 miles per hour on uh, asphalt. Pretty level ground here. 392. I got a little traffic here, so I slowed down to 75, and I reset it. And, uh, wow. Well, might be going downhill a little bit. Look at that 23 and a half. So it seems like there's a big difference between 75 and 80. There we go, 22 and a half. Yeah, I must have been going down a hill here. Let me reset again. It's a mile. It's a mile per gallon different, I think, between 75 and 80. At least one, maybe two. The car is not very aerodynamic. I wasn't planning on doing more of this, but I got uh, some road construction. So I'll show you here. Going, uh, I don't know, 62. Look at the gas mileage. 27.4. Set it again. Try to hide the sun there a little bit. 27.7. Let's see what my speed is. 62. So let's bring it down to 60. Watch how fast it goes down when I hit the gas. I came up to a gate, it was a bridge, 
and he hands me this slip because I guess the GPS sends everybody here. He said this was not Wrightsville Beach. I don't know why it took me here, but he get, had the slip already made out. You got to go to 23 East Salisbury Street and it'll take you to Wrightsville Beach. I had na had this navigating all the way since Raleigh. I don't understand why it would take me here, but I got it. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to save this navigation point and call it Wrightsville Beach. Maybe it'll work better. All right, later.
headquarters. So, unmarked white Mustang, a whole bunch of police cars. There, pulled over some white pickup truck or something. Those trucks shouldn't speed. Should obey the speed limit at all times. All right, so my GoPro is still acting a little goofy, but um, yeah. So I went to Carolina Beach, Wrightsville Beach. I did, flew the drone and took some photos of the car. And now heading over the bridge. A black challenger in front of me. Um, gonna head over to Screen Gems. 